Dugco Schools is postponing an expansion of anti-discrimination rules due to anger from conservative parents groups who don't want more protections for LGBTQ kids. That puts their feelings in opposition to state law. Last night, the school board's conservative majority said they need more time to consider the impact of the Biden administration's recent update to Title IX protections. They expand federal anti-discrimination policies to explicitly include LGBTQ students. Similar protections, though, already exist in Colorado state law. They've been there for years. The board planned to update their district policies last night, but they backed down after a pressure campaign from conservative groups who claimed that the policies will allow trans students to play on girls' sports teams and use girls' locker rooms. The district is supposed to be in compliance with the new Title IX rules by next school year. Board members say they won't be pressured by the deadline. Democratic Attorney General Phil Weiser told us if the school district refuses to meet anti-discrimination rules, the district risks losing federal funding. And they cannot remove our funding. We do not have centralized education. We have autonomy in Douglas County. We are the supreme law of Douglas County. Local school boards do not have license to discriminate against LGBTQ students. Civil rights laws in Colorado protect everyone, including gender identity and sexual orientation, going back to 2008. Our federal civil rights laws are now going to cover LGBTQ students and withhold funding from schools that fail to do so. The Delco School Board hasn't said when they'll revisit these policies. They also said there's too much legal uncertainty. Federal courts have already blocked the Title IX expansion in a couple of states.